Welcome. In this video, we will show you the new functions of OC MIDI Stage 1.5 using a Midas MR18 mixer and a Behringer X Touch controller in Mackie control mode. These functions include the following display of the selected channel as well as the current function of knobs and faders layer in the seven segment display, display of channel names and parameter values of the selected channel in the LCD scribble strips. Meters control, allowing easy monitoring of all levels. Synchronization with X-Air edit of all operations performed from the MIDI controller. The seven segment display is divided into three zones, which will display the selected channel, the current function of the knobs, and the current fader layer. The first zone of the display will show the selected channel at all times whether it is modified with the channel selection buttons or with the right channel and the left channel buttons. The second area of the display shows the selected function of the knobs. Gain, low cut, gate, compressor, equalizer, pan, when the equalizer function is selected, the display shows the bands that correspond to the parameters we are modifying with the knobs. Pressing the equalizer button several times will move between bands 1 and 2 and bands 3 and 4. When the master of a bus or main LR is selected, bands 5 and 6 are also available. The display zone at the right shows the currently selected fader layer. The LCD scribble strips show the parameters of the channels for the selected function of the knobs. Gain, low cut, gate, compressor, equalizer, pan. If the selected function is gain or pan, the first row of the scribble strip shows the name of the channels. OC MIDI stage is able to control the meters, to visualize the input levels of each channel, as well as the output levels of buses and main LR. Thanks to the synchronization function, XR Edit will change its view, depending on the faders layer and the function of the knobs selected in the MIDI controller. In addition, the channel selected in the MIDI controller will also be selected in X-Air Edit. For example, if you select a channel, it is selected in X-Air Edit. If you select the low cut function, X-Air Edit automatically switches to the equalizer view, in which you can see the parameters change from the MIDI controller. Similarly, if we select gate, on the MIDI controller, XR Edit switches to Gate View. The same happens if you select the compressor, XR Edit automatically switches to the compressor view. Again, if you select Equalizer, XR Edit automatically switches to the Equalizer view so that you can see the parameters you are modifying, frequencies, gains, etc. When selecting Pan, XR Edit switches to the Mixer's view, where you can see the pan of each channel. That is, when changing the function of the knobs, XR Edit automatically switches to the corresponding view. When modifying the faders layer from the MIDI controller, XR Edit will automatically change to the same layer. For example, I'm going to select the layers of the different buses or the layers of the effects.
To use the X-Touch controller with OC MIDI stage, it is necessary to configure it in the Mackie control mode. For that, we must perform the following steps. Switch off the MIDI controller. Hold the select button of the first channel. While you switch on the controller. The controller enters in configuration mode. Turn the knob of the first channel until you find the MC value. Using the second knob, select USB because the MIDI controller is going to be connected through the USB port. To confirm the changes, press the select button of the first channel again. That's all. We have finished the configuration of the X-Touch controller. Thank you very much for watching the video. And just a comment to finish that from the product website, you can access more information as well as make the purchase of licenses.